What's up guys, I'm BTC, brand new patch today with a ton of nerfs on quite a few characters. These are going to be in the experimental mode, so these changes will not apply to the normal games just yet. Blizzard explained that they're trying to reduce the base power for quite a few characters. There was also a general change to how armor works. It will still function the same for most normal attacks, but for beam type weapons like what you have with Winston and Zarya and Symmetra, those types of things, then what's going to happen is armor is now going to be more effective against them. It's going from 20% up to 30% reduction on that damage. So just an overall increase in armor's effectiveness against those types of attacks. A lot of these nerfs are pretty simple. They're trying to reduce the damage per second and the healing per second of these characters. The first one is going to be Ana. You can see that her ammo was reduced from 14 down to 12. So while this doesn't decrease the total damage or healing for each attack, it means that you need to reload quite a bit more often. That's 1.5 seconds pause that you have to take far more often than before. So over the course of a match, her healing and damage is going to go down. The next character is going to be Ash. They did something similar with her, except with Ash, it's a lot more punishing because you have to reload every single one at a time instead of all at once. So this is far more punishing to reduce all of Ash's ammo. It went from 15 down to 12. Also, her secondary attack, the damage was reduced from 85 down to 80. Next character is Baptiste, who also got a similar treatment. You'll notice that his primary ammo is the same, but the secondary was nerfed from 12 down to 10. Again, meaning that you have to reload more often, so your overall healing per second is going to go down. In addition to that, his regenerative burst was nerfed quite a bit from 150 healing down to 75. So you can only heal your teammates for 75 now, which is quite a bit less. However, they changed the way that it works so that now it will heal Baptiste for twice as much. So you can heal yourself for 150, but all of your teammates will only get healed for 75. The next character is Junkrat. He got a nerf to the damage output of his primary attack. So it went from 50 to 40 for the impact damage because there's two different types of damage with these types of attacks. You have the impact and then you have the splash. So the impact was reduced from 50 down to 40, which means that the total damage went from 130 down to 120 for a direct impact. Next up is McCree. His overall damage per second has been nerfed. They did this by increasing the recovery time between your attacks. Instead of 0.42 seconds, it has been increased to 0.5 seconds. So now it takes a half a second of recovery time every time you attack with the primary. And over the course of a match, this is going to reduce his total damage per second. Next character is Moira. First thing is that they are not moving forward with the Biotic Orb or the Fade changes from the previous experimental mode. I talked to Blizzard about it. They just weren't really happy with it. It's possible that they're going to test some other versions and they'll revisit it later. But for right now, the Biotic Orb and the Fade changes are not going through. However, she did get quite a few other changes. The first thing is with the healing. A bunch of changes to this. The lingering healing was reduced from 4 seconds down to 2 seconds. And also, it was reduced, the total healing of it was reduced from 65 down to 35. So now you're only going to get 2 seconds and it only does 35 healing. However, they increased the healing per second of the normal heal from 65 to 70 per second. But at a cost, the resource consumption rate has been increased from 11 to 14, which is a 27% increase in how much of your resources are going to be used when you're just holding down that button. But they did add a little bit of a counter to this because the damage has also been changed. Now, first thing is that the attach angle has been reduced by 37%, which is the same thing that they've done in a bunch of other experimental modes. It just means that you have to be more accurate because the hit registration has been lowered. It, it's been shrunk by quite a bit. However, something that you'll notice is that the healing resource gain is now way, way faster. It has been increased by 50%. 
So what this means is that you will now heal more directly, you have less lingering heal, and it requires more resources, but you can gain resources much, much faster. So now you need to be far more active and involved with what's going on, right? Like, because you're gonna run out of this, you run out of your healing a lot faster, and it requires you to then quickly recharge it. So heal, recharge, heal, recharge, just like you do kind of regular, but you now need to do it more frequently than before. So overall, more healing per second, less linger, and a little bit more accuracy required for the attack. But uh, I think overall, I think overall this is probably more of a buff than a nerf. I mean, there's definitely nerf aspects to it, particularly with your prime, uh, your attack there. But I think overall, this is leaning more towards being a, a buff. The next character is Orissa. They made a couple of changes to the halt. The first thing is that the radius was increased from 4 meters up to 5 meters. And remember, this is not just in one direction. This is all directions around the halt. So it's an extra 2 meters from left to right and from bottom to top. So this is going to make it a little easier in order to grab a larger number of enemies. However, they did reduce the projectile speed from 30 down to 25. The next character is Farah. They did something similar with her that they did with McCree where they increased the recovery time. So for her, it's been increased from 0.75 up to 0.85. And again, individual attacks are going to be the same, but the overall damage per second will go down simply because it takes you longer to attack and you just have less attacks overall the next character is symmetra and her secondary attack the damage was reduced from 140 down to 120 i believe just recently they increased it from 120 up to 140 but apparently they think that it's too good and they're nerfing it i mean this character is still garbage i don't really know why they're nerfing it like, this character is, is not good. Like, you're better off using pretty much any other DPS in the game than Symmetra. I don't I don't know why they're, they're nerfing, but I guess it is what it is. Next up is Widow, who got a bunch of nerfs. First up is her total ammo was increased from 30 to 35. And I know you might be... Wait a second, hold on. 35 is higher than 30. That's good, right? Well, unfortunately, no. Yes, it does give you five more of these attacks, but... They increased the ammo cost on the secondary attack, so it went up from 3 to 5. So instead of having 3 of 30 giving you 10 attacks before you reload, it is now 5 of 35 giving you 7 attacks before you reload. So you lose 3 attacks with this. Also, I do want to point out something, that if you have less than the total 5 ammo required, you can still use the attack. It'll just make you reload right away. And this works the same way with, I believe, Torbjorn's alternate attack and also Symmetra's alternate attack. You don't need to have... And even Zarya, I believe. You don't need to have the maximum amount. It'll just use it, and then it just re reloads it. Uh, however, they made another change to Widow, which is that scoped attacks now have 50% fall off from 60 to 85 meters. Now, this is a really, really long ways away. 60 to 85 meters, very long distance. So we're talking about things like the Elios Ruins map, right? And maybe some places on King's Row and that sort of stuff. So when you're at really, really far distances, you're now going to have up to 50% damage reduction due to fall off on that. Next up is Zarya, who got a nerf to her secondary attack. The ammo cost was increased from 20 up to 25. So now you can only use it four times before you have to reload. But again, like I said, if you have less than 25, you can still use it. Does the same amount of damage, even though you're using less ammo. 
So quite a few changes in this. It does seem like Echo is in a little bit better of a situation because a lot of the stuff that would normally go against her is getting weaker. But this isn't a patch like what they did with Brigida just recently where they nerfed her into the ground. They're nerfing a lot of characters kind of across the board, reducing damage, reducing healing, all that sort of stuff. So it's not like Ana is just going to drop to the bottom because of these changes or baptiste is going to drop to the bottom because of these changes however it does seem to close the gap a little bit between the best characters the best healers and the worst healers and that sort of stuff same thing with some of the dps right the gap is getting a little bit closer and now it might be a little more based on what the situation is or what your personal preference is or what you're good at as opposed to well, you kind of have to use this character because it's the best and that's it. And if you don't use this character, then you're just putting your team at a disadvantage. Now there's a little more wiggle room, basically. So what do you guys think about all these changes? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to be comment of the video, then leave yours, and while you're at it, ring the bell so you never miss a new video. Also, if you want to get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media, then check out the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.